Baba and I am Brother. And today we are discussing Jagu. Jagu. So when I actually saw the trailer of this film, I was like, wow, we are in for a good watch because the trailer was thrilling. It was actually something that will make you know that, yes, this would be a good watch. And it is indeed a good one. And um, so this film is an actual exceptional one. And I'm talking about how Yoruba film at first, like, went so well in the bigger screen, like in theaters and also on on streaming platforms. You know, with the likes of, and I also want to like give kudos to Femi Adebayo with the fact that he had Ageshikoli, and Ageshikoli was like a success. Even though I still do not read this film, I do not, so I do not enjoy that film. Like. I did enjoy other Yoruba epics that came after. We had Elisha Yoruba, it was like an indeed gold one. We had Anikulapo. So it was like a good watch for us. Those three epics were like wonderful. Then the next, um, for this year, we had Urusha. I'm yet to see it. And Jagun Jagun. Jagun Jagun is actually an exceptional one. And I did love it. It was an exceptional one. So let me talk about the film. So this film, the very first thing I'm discussing is. Um, people were start in this film, like we were featured in this film. So this film actually had everybody <laughs> in the Yoruba Nollywood industry. And when I say everybody, I do not mean everybody, but every face you've always seen in Yoruba films are just the faces you've seen in this film. Like they were a lot. The lineup was a lot. And we had them, but I'll just mention the lead characters, which were played by Femi Adebayo, Pete Abalogun, Bokome Uluashino. We have Ibrahim and um, Ibrahim Yekini. Ibrahim Shata will be coming in a sequel. If it will be having a sequel, which I feel it will have. Yeah, I feel like Ibrahim Yekini and um, Ibrahim Shata. No, Ibrahim Yekini. Ibrahim Shata will be like the lead character for that. We have uh, the like the major protagonist to be Latif Adedineji, and they all did so well. So for me, the one thing that actually stood out for me the most was the story. The pl- like the plot, yes, the plot. It was just so. It actually started like you're watching your regular Yoruba film, but it got to towards the end or probably the climax. I did enjoy it. I never expected that the child who like is the person behind the Agemo Max because I I just felt like yeah. And this film also actually still reinforced the notion that. Woman, I mean, women will always be the downfall of men. <laughs> yeah, because you know, um, after watching Anikula Ko, they were it was like a Nigerian debatable version of a money. Yeah, and with this too, it still had it still reemphasized that notion where you find you find yourself like, am I are we going to blame the man or probably it's like a woman issue? But yeah, I think it's more of like the man issue. Yeah, so that's one thing. The film actually had a very good story. It tells the story of a young man, oh my god, Ogunji. I can't remember the name of his characters. All of them just had Ogun, 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 similar name. So the lead character was played by Latif. And he actually wanted to seek revenge for, he wanted to seek revenge for the death of his father. So he decided to go to this war school where he will learn how to fight. And after he succeeded, he yeah, is going to get the revenge he needs for his father. Only to realize that the revenge is looking for, the revenge is looking for, is actually the person who owned this war school is the one who had killed his father. So it's just a complicated story. I did love how the plot went and how it ended. So it was just a very good film. Like the story is exceptional, and the what there was like suspense and probably the way get new information for me it was something i never expected i just feel like okay let us just keep watching and just get to see this plot twist and it was fine i did enjoy it so i w- i don't want to spill too much so that you can go watch then one thing about the action you know we've not been seeing um epic movies that have such action the action here was so wonderful and i think special effects was not i think after watching, I saw Nia Kimolaya as someone who did their visual for like special effects, and it was quite a very good one. The action was something I so much enjoyed, it's applaudable, like the fighting scenes. Then, what else again? Um, the setting you know, the place where this film is set was is just a very beautiful one. We had like very, and you know, that this film is something that a lot was spent in. So, will there be a sequel to this film? Yes, I think there will be because. I think the child wants to seek revenge for 
the death of his father. That is the um the character played by Femi Adebayo. The child wants to, the child he had with um another person wants to seek revenge for that. Um, it tells so it tells like a lot of things like betrayal, revenge. Um, it was just a a, a good one, like a good watch. Seen it, so tell me probably your favorite character, and if you do think um if you have this it will just the way i feel it will and do you guys think the wife was supposed to had actually killed him or like supported the protagonist in bringing that man down so this is all i'll be discussing for dragon dragon and yeah this is all i'll be discussing